Hey everyone and welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah and in this quick Unity tutorial, I will show you how to use an awesome 2D feature called the Sprite Mask inside of Unity. In short, the Sprite Mask is a tool that lets you dynamically hide or show parts of a sprite. Since it's now December and Christmas is only a few weeks away, I drew a quick flashy looking presence that I'll use to demonstrate the Unity Sprite Mask. As you can see here, I'm using the Sprite Mask to hide parts of this present, and obviously I can use this tool to the opposite effect, meaning reveal my sprite. Okay, let me show you how to do this. First of all, make the sprites in any 2D application you may have. I used, as usual, Adobe Photoshop and doodles the present shown earlier as well as this little blue teddy bear. Once that's done, make sure the background is transparent and then export your file as a PNG into your Unity project. In Unity, I will select my newly created sprites and head over to the settings. There, I will change the sprite mode from single to multiple and inside my sprite editor window, separate the present sprite and the teddy bear. I'll then put them inside my scene. Okay, we are now ready to use the sprite mask. Step one, you can find the sprite mask under create 2D objects sprite mask. At first you may not see anything, but do not worry, in just a few simple steps, you will have it working. The first part of the sprite mask component is an empty slot that can contain a sprite. I'll just select for now this basic knob sprite. This axe has the shape our sprite mask will take. And guess what? This is the only thing you really need to touch inside of the sprite mask component. The rest being extra detailed options I haven't found any need in using yet. Then scale up your sprite mask until you can see it properly. Once that's done, you'll end up with this circle underlined in orange. That is our sprite mask. Selecting my present object, you'll notice that there is an element under the sprite render component called mask interactions. Clicking on this, I can choose whether I want this particular sprite to be visible inside the sprite mask or visible outside the sprite mask. For the present, I'll choose visible outside the sprite mask. As the text implies, this sprite will only display itself as long as it doesn't have any sprite mask on top of it. For the teddy, I'll do the opposite, meaning I only want parts of the sprites inside the sprite mask to display themselves. Now, if I move my sprite mask around, you'll notice that my present doesn't display when the mask is on top of it and that my teddy does. This may seem obvious, but I just want to point out that if you don't want your sprite mask affecting your sprite in any way, just set the sprite renderer's mask interaction to none. Of course, you can really get creative with this tool by changing the sprite mask shape, for example, or inserting this awesome Unity feature in one of your games. A few months ago, for example, I made this very disturbing game called Beneath the Skin, a mini experience that denounces the superficial nature of many people. At the time of creation, I had just got back to school after a two month summer holiday and was thrown back into this phone addicted world where all I felt people would do is take photos of themselves and gloss over their physique. With this game, I wanted to show what humans are made of and that though physical beauty is wonderful, we shouldn't worry about it so much and instead focus on what really separates humans from insects and animals, the mind, imagination and powerful emotions. Anyway, in this game, many considered both interesting and horrific, I used the sprite mask. As you can see, the player character has a strange ability that of seeing beneath the skin. I also had fun making a pink, shiny main menu hiding gory body bits. Okay, that's it for sprite masks. I hope you found the video helpful. 
If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I assure you, each new subscriber is pure joy. I may make more videos on the subject in the future, so stay tuned. And of course, if you have any requests, post away in the comment section down below. With that, see you very soon. Cheers!